Hey everybody, welcome back to the Real Estate Success Podcast. I'm your host today, Jim Ingersoll. It is good to be with you guys today. We have a fun uh, episode coming up and uh, we're gonna talk uh, with Alicia Soikawa, who's here in Richmond, Virginia and has sold uh, three or four of my flips and um, has done an incredible job building out her real estate team. She's a realtor and uh, she's also been working on building out her brand via YouTube and video marketing and that's kind of what we're going to dig into today. Um, but uh, make sure that if uh, you're tuning in today, you go and download your flipping houses kit at investingnownetwork.com. And be watching InvestorTrainingSummit.com because I'm in the process of scheduling my next boot camp, which will be in January 2019. Can you believe we're talking about 2019 already? It is unbelievable. So Alicia, welcome to Real Estate Success. How are you today? I am fabulous. I'm excited to be here and I appreciate you uh, having me on. So yeah, I'm excited too. We, we haven't hung out in a little while here. Um, so let's talk about how we met because like you started selling my flips and then you reached out and we met at Starbucks and Cheryl and I and you all yep. got to hang out. But yeah, how did, and then I, how I kept you running into you, I feel like at Starbucks and random yeah. places and I was doing, I was just starting to do some video, do some FaceTime, I mean, not fa Facebook live videos and you were commenting on them and, and I, I was watching you and I follow you on Instagram and I follow you on Facebook and I'm in your group and I'm just very intrigued by how you handle things because there's a lot of people that do flip and, and things like that but I think that you take the opportunity kind of to take the awareness to a different level and I think that as what we do in our brands we're kind of leaving things on the table when you don't use video and you don't use these tools that are available available to us now actually for free so that's fascinating to me and how you can kind of get your awareness out to such a large group now and, and a very, very small price. I had the opportunity to go to Gary Vaynerchuk's big conference this year in, in, in January. And that's, I got him to sign that book and I got that book and I got to speak to him one-on-one. -on -one. And wow. that's what provoked this me coming on here. Cause I read the book, I posted a picture on Instagram and you said to me, what are you going to do different from reading that book? <laughs> I did and challenge I said, oh, you. Oh, I kind of want to do a podcast. And you were yeah. like, why don't you go on mine? And so that's kind of, I think, how we ended up here. First so so you, you're, you've got your realtor team through Long and Foster. You've Correct. sold three of my flips. Correct. And for coffee. And then I started watching your stuff on social media. And I said, boom, I can't believe you met Gary Vanderchuk. How was yeah. that? He is truly the real deal. You know, I think there are a lot of people in the, so in the eye and the public and social media that have this persona that's not legitimate or you meet them, just they're not very nice or they just, you know, it's all fluff. He is the real deal. Like when you are with him, he genuinely makes you feel like you're the only person in the room. He genuinely cares. You can feel that he cares. I had an opportunity to have dinner with him in a small yeah. setting. It was an amazing experience. I'm so glad I got to go through that experience and have that, you know, I met Ryan Serhant um, to that conference. It was really, really cool. And it really opened my eyes at to that. These are just regular people, just like you and I. And I think that we see these people on a, on a platform and we think that they're untouchable, but they started where you and I were at some point and they grew their business and they grew their awareness. And I think that was a huge lesson to me is that don't lose sight of being authentic, number one, and being who you are and being genuine and actually being kind. He's a very kind, kind person. And even at the success that he has achieved and where he's at financially and ability to touch people, he really has this ability to engage you and it's, it's, he's really in the moment with you. Like he literally talked to everybody that he had a book signing with for at least five to 10 minutes for each wow. person. It was really phenomenal to me. And he just stayed there for I don't know how long. And we were at dinner until like one in the morning. And then he was getting on a plane and leaving the next, I don't think he ever sleeps. But I think, <laughs> um, yeah, I, mean, I think it's a testament to that when you do what you love doing and what you're meant to do in this world, that you, you have this energy that's beyond superhuman, you know? So I, I was able to catch some video with him and use that opportunity. But I think video is king. I tell all of my counterparts in real estate, you need to do video. You need to do more video. And everyone's like, well, I'm old. I don't want to do video. You're I hate young. being on camera. Yeah. That's like I a big like, thing, right? Huge thing. I don't like my voice. 
I don't oh. like the sound of my voice. I, I hear hate the- my voice. I can't even listen to my own podcast because it bothers me. <laughs> and I don't really love being on video like we are right now. But yeah, I, I know it's nece- it's really super critical and necessary. I mean, how else can I reach out and help more people if I'm not well, willing yeah. to? Like, it isn't about me on this yeah. video or this podcast. It's about trying to help other people. And when I got through that mindset shift, like, and when I speak also, Alicia, it's the same thing. It's like, I need to bring something that's going to touch somebody's life or, or help them be inspired or motivated or focused or whatever it is to help them. It isn't, and when I think about it, it's not really about me. Then I'm okay with it. It's like, it doesn't matter what I look like or what I sound like anymore. Because I have the ability, yeah. I've helped a lot of people. Um, I'm blessed that I have and you, you as well. And when you have that mindset, then it's okay. Yeah. I think if you separate yourself from the situation, because all of us at the core who we are wants to help your, it's your, our humanity, right? Our humanitarian right. part of who we are, which makes us human is that we care for others, hopefully. Right. And so yeah. I agree with you on that. If you can step out of it and also think you, I think that's one of the big things I love what Gary talks about in video and doing things is that, 60 70 you still got 20 30 years and that's life that we live that's a long time if you think about life you know and i think there's a lot that we can accomplish you know we underestimate what we can do in a long period of time but then we overestimate what we can do in the one day right so i think that is some of the the lessons i try to take is that if i may be falling short one day with video or something but i'm like hey it's a long game i'm in it for the long game and overall just get back with it i just released a team video that i have an intern working with me for free you people can get free video people wow um it's amazing how much talent is out there they just want to get experience they just want because most video people don't want to be in front of the camera they want to be behind it they love to edit they're 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 people that love to do that and, and, and the content you have and with your people flipping homes and there's such great content to teach people this is what can go wrong here and and you can teach people because it's a very visual field in what you do you know before right. and after before and after i love when you go in and you show people the house is what it looks like before and it has like the hoarders and all yeah. the cra- I'm always astonished that like, and then after it's done, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, oh my God, that was the place where you had to take the dumpster and get all the crap out of there. And that is so real. And I think that's important for people to see that because I think people see things on HGTV and they're like, oh, it's so easy. You know, I can do it. Or I I can tile on one weekend. Like you can't tile on one weekend. (laughs) It's professional. So I, it's exactly and I agree like, with you. You know, I really like Chip and Joanna. They're phenomenal on design and stuff. But yeah. um, these other flipping shows, I mean, it's just not, re- it, it's reality TV, but it's not yeah. real life flipping houses. There's so, they, many they things cut that, out. Yeah. so many things that go wrong and you have to deal with. And it's just nowhere near reality, <clears throat> for sure. Well, between it, if we're, on our perspective, because you, it's a, it's a different beast. And what we do is that when I sell a home or purchase a home with a client, there's something like 101 steps that happen. And it's at 101 unreal, steps, it? it's unreal. And it's true what they say. Everything is fine until it's not, right? Everything wow. is good until it's not. So I think to prepare yourself and have realistic expectations and to have those buffers set up, which video is great at showing people and demonstrating what you can do, what value you add to them and how you can teach them how to flip a home, what you need to do, what to prepare for, just like what I do in real estate, like, hey, these are things that you need to think about, you know, when selling your home, when buying a home. Um, I do love that when you flip a home, I will say from a real estate point of view, when I work with buyer's agent, one of the things I want to compliment you on, and, and maybe you can share with your flip- flippers is that during that inspection time period, anytime I had brought something to the table, you took care of it. You took care of all of it. And I feel like that was huge in selling that flip for these people because in their mind they're buying a brand new house even though it's not you know and so i think i challenge your people to continue to kind of follow that ethical line of the what's do what do what's right right because your name's behind it yeah and everybody i agree with you i mean we're we're pretty easy on repairs as far as like i don't over negotiate them for sure and even if if I'm in a house doing repairs and we find something that the home inspector missed, we'll typically just do it and not even tell anybody. 
Yeah. Because quality is important to us. Um, and so thank you for that encouragement. We're doing four, we have four closings in the next seven days. Nice. So right now I'm, I'm like overloaded in repairs. So yeah. appreciate the well, then I'm gonna You're pulling me across the finish line. Well, I'm going to tell you for, as an agent, because I deal with sellers that are not flippers that give us such a difficult time. It, it means so much to be able to transfer home in that way, because I think that it says a lot about your brand. And so that I can then tell another agent, oh, you're selling, you're doing a deal with Jim. Well, you're not going to have any problem. He's awesome to work with. And that helps you sell your homes faster and for more money, in my opinion. Well, because, thank you for that. You know, so I say that for people that are watching and listening to you, that they should follow that model instead of trying to cut edges to make that extra buck because it's not going to help them in the end. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, oh, you get to, you're going to get some serious capital freed up here now. So you're going to do some more flips. <laughs> I'm always doing a lot. Yeah. I mean, we're doing a ton of flips for sure. I love it. I love it. Well, we're getting ready to go into fall market. Our inventory is very low. So we're in dire need of your flips so that we can have some great homes to sell because new construction is just being gouged in my opinion, price yep. point. And I don't think the value is always there personally mm -hmm. um, compared to renovating an older home and such. So um, I'd like to see some things done in uh, uh kind of like in the mid-century flip do you do mm -hmm. any of those yeah i love doing them like we've done some along monument avenue and over through there yeah mid-century modern personally is yeah. something yeah. i really like I, we've done a lot in historic districts of churchill and different areas as well north side now so yes. i like the old homes too yeah, well, I, I love I loved seeing the before and after on those homes. It definitely is inspiring to me. Um, what do you think, in your opinion, like I, I came on here wanting to kind of discuss about branding and things like that. When you work in your, from your perspective, what is your opinion on how realtors can be better to, to partner with flippers, in your opinion? How can realtors be better? Is that what yeah, you're saying? How, yeah, be better to help you guys. Besides just bringing buyers or what can we yeah. do to help you guys? I would really have to give that some thought. I mean, we flip a ton of houses, as you know, and we've worked with a lot of realtors. I think communication um, is important. But then, you know, buyer's agents aren't really supposed to communicate with the seller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a regulatory thing, right? Yeah. That, I would love to shortcut that and go direct, but I can't do that unless I get licensed, which I'm, I'm not licensed, as you're aware. So, I mean, that's one thing. I think just communication. Well, like you could it. sell it, no? What's that? You could for sale by owner it, no? Yeah, and I have done a lot of those this year. I've pre-sold right off Zillow, quite a few this year. So, you're right. The, then, the, then there's no issue there. Um, so, I think just communication really helps a, a great deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 I'm a huge advocate for communication. I don't understand people that don't want to communicate mm -hmm. in person, on the phone, wherever. Um, I think that goes a long way with clients. I have repeat clients. I, you know, plan to keep, you know, having, that's 90% of my business is by referral. So my videos are effective because the people that watch my videos are people that know me and want to work with me and they like the things that I do that are silly and whatever. But I just started a vlog, which I'm working on. I only have two episodes now, just yeah. so you see behind the scenes. You know, if you if you go on YouTube and look up Alicia and Company, I have three different YouTube channels, but the one I'm really building now is Alicia and Company. Um, and I have my team video on there. And I have, you know, I've really, I have Enzo Media, who I've been working with to do videos. They're very reasonably priced. I will do a little plug for them just because, I, they partnered with me early on to kind of do this, and I think I'm going to hire them to do the vlog. So I'll, I'm, my goal is to produce one a week, and so we'll see how that goes. Excellent. And I'm looking at that channel now. I didn't, uh, I didn't catch that channel earlier, um, but I really like it. Hang on, I just got to close my door real quick. Sure. Sorry about that. And um, so let's talk about this. So you've got the Alicia and Company with Long and Foster team video. You got your your vlogs going, um, and they look really good. They're very professional. This first one is this where you were saying you got help from an intern? Yeah, the vlog two episodes of the vlog are from the free intern. 
So mm-hmm. I, he was through my assistant. She was like, oh, my friend wants to do video. You know, you'd be surprised, you know, you, if, you, if you tap your friends and who you know, there's always someone that likes to play around some video and well, likes to edit. Just let it do them. What's that saying? Comple- done is better than perfect, right? Oh boy, done I'm is so better than perfect. 100% so, agree. Yeah. So I think, I think what you do, you probably have a lot of people that want to be perfect, right? And what you build, it has to be perfect. Yes, I get that. But in social media and posting and advertising and branding, done is better than perfect. And I think I try to do a lot of things to get my name out there. Like I have like little, my pop socket has, mm-hmm. you know, my brand everywhere I can go now. I think to myself, how can I put my brand in it to let people know who I am? So they have a conversation with me about what I do. And the concept of who you work with matters, right? Because there's a diamond dozen uh, realtors out there. Why would they want to work with me and my team? So it's like setting myself apart and me being willing to be self-deprecating and being completely wide open and who I am and what I do in my business, I think shows people what I really am about. You know, I'm a normal human being. I work hard. I have children. I'm a mom. I'm a businesswoman. You know, I have aging parents. I mean, I've gone through the whole gamut, right? So of course I can help you. I'm not going to be sitting on my white shiny horse flying in a jet. Like how sometimes you see, <laughs> that's not going to be me ever. Like, you know, I, I'd like yeah. to ride a jet yeah. one day, but that's not happening. But, you know, I think I do want to live a good life too. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. And so I think I want to open myself up even more and just be real and vulnerable and authentic because who you see online is who I truly am. And I think there's a lot of people online that pretend to be something and you meet them in person they're nothing like that and that's not who I am and I think that's what's helped me grow my business is that I try to stay true to who I am all the time and I think authentic is important yes so you build that into your YouTube channel right yes correct correct and I do like walkthrough videos and I'll do like you know I do a ton of stuff if you go to my Facebook business page you can see all the video that I do there I try to do as much video as I can I'm doing a ton of Instagram stories that's the big thing now so I highly recommend anybody who's doing that Instagram stories just tap on that the little bubbles on top hold it down add to your story add to your story and then you can add it to highlights which the story doesn't go away then it stays and you can like categorize them so like if you were doing a you know your different flips you could do like you know, you could put them by the addresses or kitchens or bathrooms or fiascos or what can go wrong. And it's kind of funny because then you'll get this following of people that want to see what's happening to you all day long. And it's fun because you can also on those stories, you know, make put stickers and gifs and make comments and it's it's very entertaining and you can follow along. Young House Love, you know them. Yeah, they're based right out of Richmond. Yes, I know them. I worked with them when I was working with Behringer Builders and they're such a fun couple they are on it on anything that's like new, like they're doing the podcast now. They're all, they grew up, they blew up on, on uh, Instagram and now they're doing the Instagram stories right. and their Instagram stories. They must have like a hundred a day wow. and their following is out of this world. Like, and they don't really do flip flips. They just kind of do their own right. thing. And I think that's kind of neat to show their style and what they do. And people kind of just follow them, you know? And I think that to be known as that is, is really special that they have their niche of who they are. And it kind of, sometimes your brand will kind of reveal itself is what I noticed too in doing video and things like this. Don't you agree? So if our uh, success listeners want to check you out on social media, where, 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 where do they find you? So I'm at alicia.rba. So A-L-I-C-I-A dot R-B-A for Instagram. And if you Google Alicia Zoe Cow on my face on, on Facebook, you can add me on Facebook. And I'm at Alicia um, and Company at Long and Foster for Facebook. It's Alicia. Um, it's R B A Alicia slash R B A Alicia <clears throat> for my handle in the Facebook business. Page. Okay. Because you know it's like Facebook slash R B A. The other one was taken. Someone well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on my show notes so they'll be able to just connect right over to you to yeah. say hello. So I love that. your primary channels are YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, right? That's where you focus. Correct. And I do a lot on LinkedIn as well, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. LinkedIn is untapped. I agree. And it's truly, and if you want professionals and people that have capital to do stuff, LinkedIn is where you go. For some reason, my LinkedIn is growing crazy fast. Yes. yes. My, like my network is, it went from like five, it seems like it went from like, Five to seven thousand to like I'm in the eleven to fifteen thousand just like that. I don't know how it happened. Went pretty well, quick. 
because you know what happens in LinkedIn is that it shows your circles. It shows who you're connected with a lot better and it's all business. Right. So what you do is business, right? And I think there's none of this social, it's not right. really social. It's really for business about right. networking for business. So it's like truly like being a BNI in a way. At the BNI, I call it the BNI of social media is yeah. oh, it's true. And it's meant for business connection for business. It's not meant to just talk about silly stuff, you know, and you're not seeing babies and puppies on there. It's, it's about business. And I think that there's been a huge push in the real estate market for flipping. It's the hot buzz. Now everyone wants to flip a home and invest and they see your name and they're like, boom, I want, I want to be his, I want to know that person. I want to know that person. And I think you see that connection there, believe it or not, the written word on LinkedIn holds more weight. Whereas in Facebook and Instagram, it's all video, right? Video yeah. pictures. But for some reason, LinkedIn sharing articles, people are on LinkedIn to read articles, to, to <clears> study, because to, it's, it's about building their business, building their education around their business and their specialty. So you're going to see people that are following, if you like are in the group for investing, you're probably getting all these like, huge amounts of people because like one person right. will like it and they share your connection. Next thing you know, you have like 200 people yeah at a time you ever had a post go viral um a little bit here and there nothing crazy i actually did a very raw video when i came back from after having my last child and my we my my daughter got a diagnosis about <laughs> epilepsy and my son you know developed Tourette's. we have a lot of special needs in our family and a lot of challenges and i think right. everybody was so used to me just being so silly and fun and you know everything is great all the time even if i'm like he's laughing about something funny no one really saw any difficulty in my life. I think I was just coming back and I just was having such a hard time. And I posted this video of me driving, of just like bearing my soul. Being and authentic. I didn't, yeah, I didn't boost it or anything. It just, I probably got like five, six, 7,000 people looking at it. I had my, I had like my first viral post like a month ago. It was, oh I have a page in Facebook called Renovated Housing. Yeah. And I had this house with this great big porch and I boosted it one time for like 30 bucks. I, yeah. I reached over 800,000 people with that post. Wow. It was like, to, because everyone started tagging people. Yeah. 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 I've never experienced that kind of quick growth on a post before. It was ridiculous. All over the country it went. That's amazing. Well, I, there's some, there's some YouTubers that you should think about following. If you really want to look at lifestyle YouTubing, not just investing would be Casey Neistat and the I S T A T is huge. If you've ever seen of his stuff, very entertaining, just very talented video editors as well. Um, on top, top of, of course, Grant Cardone and, and, um, Gary and all those, you know, people that we yeah. follow, but <clears throat> some of that's not in our realm and something that cracks me up. Sometimes I just watch YouTube that I follow is, is Q park. It's this Korean dude that used to be like a finance person who just sings out in public in New York to, to get laughs. And it's just truly entertainment, you know? And he's got this, he's like 5 million followers now or something crazy. Wow. So I, I just think there's, it just shows you the power. If you find your voice and find out what you're trying to give, what your brand is, it is, it is amazing to me that you're your reach for free. We're totally it. free. So, so <clears throat> how would somebody go about finding a video intern like you did? <clears throat> I think you just have to ask around. I actually reached out to VCU to see yeah. if I could get in there. What you can do, Sam kind of gave me a suggestion is go and see if you can volunteer. Like if you go down and you ask if you can teach, like go and speak to the class that's writing and you'll get people coming up to you wanting to intern with you, wanting to give you work for free. Gotcha. And I bet you could also do it through social media. Absolutely. You can put a <laughs> post up and say, hey, I need, I want someone. Does anybody love to edit video? Does anybody have a GoPro? Does anybody want to just follow me around and, and want to learn? Because in that respect, they get to learn from you and learn right. from whoever's working with, you know, watching what you do, because that person may be interested in what you're doing on the side as well. And you can right. kind of, you can kind of barter and trade, right? And that's in a way to do things as well, for sure. Okay, so um, again, so you've got Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and LinkedIn is where you really focus. I'm going to post your links into our, our show notes as well. Yeah, um, I'd love to get into Snapchat. That's where the 20 year olds are at right now. So in, imagine in 10 years, they're all going to be buying homes and doing stuff, right? 
Right. Um, that's a huge area that's untapped. There's a lot of stuff that's out there. I think that next door is a big one that people, it's like an up and coming. I agree with you on that. Boy, um, that's growing fast. It's huge growing fast. And it's like, you kind of need to just jump into it. And I haven't done it yet. I need to get in it. Um, there's also some stuff out there. You're kind of like, eh, I'm not into it. You know, you can't, you can't be everywhere all the time. You kind of have to pick yeah. and choose what it is that you want. And I think the podcast is awesome. That's why I said to you, I was like, it fascinates right. It's a huge thing. And I remember when podcasts first came out in the early 90s and I was in um, Raleigh, North Carolina working in corporate world and my husband told me about it and I was like, who's going to do that? That sounds so dumb. <laughs> so here we are now to like, oh, I should have done it. I tell you what else you got to watch, I think, is um, the ability to tap into Alexa. Alexa is showing up in a lot yeah. of people's houses right now. Well, we have one. And so my son, is, 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 that's his best friend. I talk to her every morning. Yep. And we have a, a Roomba we just got. We named it Zoila from Flipping <laughs> Out. Do you remember Flipping <laughs> Out, Jeff Lewis? So her name is Zoila. That's so fun. we, yeah, we're tapping into some of the neat, um, uh, different things. And I think a neat thing too for you to think about is bringing Cheryl on and talking about the design trends, right? I agree with you on that. Because I love your wife and I love mm -hmm. her style. And Thank now you. I'm getting some new hardware, the brush, the champagne that looks yeah. like brush gold is like coming back like hot there's a lot of neat stuff out there that i think people really could use and you could help a lot of people that way well thank you i appreciate that she does not enjoy being on video or talking <laughs> with me but i'm working on her i'm working you need on to. her she's beautiful she has no thank reason you. not to be on video but mm -hmm. um inside and out but i I do love that your style is very streamlined and very clean and very relevant. And I think that some flippers, like I went, I saw one flip ever at in Forest Hill area, which is a hot area just for people yes. that don't know Richmond. It's kind of up and coming Manchester, that kind of area mm -hmm. near Forest Hill Park. And it's this tiny little bungalow. And I don't know what these people were doing. They got confused. I mean, to the point where they, I think they put a lot of money in their selections. It's not that they Probably. didn't. It just was so confusing. And, and I, the, the, the buyer and I were like, what the hell is all this? And so yeah, she's gone it, everywhere. but she ended up changing all of it, you yeah. know? And I think that it could have been a lot better if the choices had been made like your wife. Good wife's. point. Good point. Yeah. So if somebody wants to reach out to you via email, what's the best way to do it? Um, Alicia at Alicia and co.com. So A L I C I A at A L I C I A A N D co C O.com. All right. Well, Alicia, I really appreciate catching up with you. It's been fun hanging out. It's like we're back at Starbucks talking real estate. I love again. it. I love it. I love it. Well, I definitely would love to keep in touch and I'm going to make it to one of your events one of these days. To okay. Me. It's going to be in January. It. So be watching for it. But thanks, Alicia. You are a rock star and I'm really glad that you shared the way you're building your brand out with social media and video today. I'm well, I'm absolutely pleased. Thank you for having me. This is so much fun. It has been a lot of fun. Thank you. Have a great day, okay? You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.